open up Adobe Photoshop here, what I'm going to do is go to File, Open. I'm going to go to my folders that I have, the um, 230 folders, 230 Photoshop files here. And I want to go down to Stock Photos. Stock Photos, I'm going to Set 1. And the, the picture I want is 49, maybe 149, but I know it's 49. So I'm just going through my selection of pictures here. There we go. So this is the picture I want, and I'm going to hit open. So I'm opening this picture in Photoshop. I don't have an original Photoshop file open and then place this picture in. I'm opening the picture in Photoshop. Okay. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit so I can see everything here. And what I want to do is make sure my layers palette is available. Here we go there. Okay. See the little girl here. What I want to do is I want to grayscale this background area here, make it a, a little uh, lighter, darker, make the little girl prominent. But to do that, I'm going to need to select the little girl so I can manipulate the background here. So the first thing I'm going to do is in my layers palette, double click to make this background a layer. Okay. Now I can name it little girl if I want to, but I'm going to do that. I'm just going to make another layer copy of that by dragging the layer zero to the new layer option here. And I do that just in case I mess this thing up. I have another copy of the little girl later. So let me snake little girl, our girl, here we go. And so I'm going to start this off by making a selection of this little girl here. So here are my two palette here. There are a couple of selections you can use. I can go with the lasso tool and go with the magnetic lasso tool, make a couple of selections and let it follow around the little girl there. And it's just a quick selection there. Or I'm gonna click out that and hit uh, command D to deselect these dotted lines there. Or I can try to see if the select option will select the subject and focus on this one little girl here. So let's see what it does there. So it does select the subject there and it also selects her mom. I don't want her mom, but I'm okay with this selection here. And let me show you how I'm gonna clean that up. So, I, so I'm so i gonna undo that, okay? And you go through that step again. I'm gonna to go to select, go to subject, hit there, and you see I have the subject being selected here, okay? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use my lasso tool, the original lasso tool, and I'm going to get rid of what I don't want. So I don't want her mom in there, this lady. So I'm just taking the lasso tool and drawing around, just making a circle around this area I don't want. I don't want that in there. And I'm being very liberal with it because I know I'm going to get in and clean up this other part later. Um, and that's, that's pretty much it there. So now I'm going to focus in on the little girl. So let's go in here and I got a little piece here I need to get rid of. So I'm going to take my option key, hold down, right? So you see right here, the option, you have the minus sign. If I hold down the shift, that's going to be the plus sign. So if I wanted to add an area here with the shift here, I can go around here and you see it adds that to the selection, but I don't want that. So I want to use the option to get rid of those areas I don't want. So I'm going to hold down the option key. And I'm just going to draw real carefully here around the little girl there. Okay, get rid of that. Just cleaning the selection up a little bit. One thing about Photoshop, you can do pretty much anything you want to do in Photoshop if you have a good selection. It's all about having a good selection. And with that, it is um, it's imperative that you decide on what option of select making a selection is best for you. Because sometimes using the lasso tool is not the best selection. Using the uh, force selection with the subject, that's not the best selection. Sometimes you may get better results with using the pen tool. So it just depends on what is going to give you the best selection of, oh, I had my shift key down there. Let's go here, get a little close here. All right, we got a little shaky right here. So let's add that back. I'm 
and subtract that out there, there, but add this back here. Okay. So that looks good here. I'm using holding the uh, space bar down on the computer to slide this over. I'm going to add here. So take my hold down the shift key, add, go there. All right, add here. Okay, and let's check her hair and see what we got. Let's go on and add this back. Uh, my hair is not that bad. I'm gonna take this little piece out here. And let's see what the ribbon, let's zoom in on that and see what we got here. So with the ribbon, I don't need these extra lines here. So what I wanna do is add, make sure all of this is in there. So I'm liberally selecting that and making sure all of that is in there, okay? Same thing here, add there. That's a good selection there. Check that, that's fine. Get a little taste here, and then here, I want to add, uh-oh, I want to subtract here. There we go. I'm saying I want to add, and I'm, I'm, I'm still holding down the Option key. So that we want that in there. There we go. But I want to subtract right here, this little piece there. Okay, that looks good. What we got here. Let's make sure this is okay. Yep. So that's going to be okay. So I'm going to zoom out here and look and make sure that's fine. Got one little piece in here I want to make sure I get right here. Use a lasso too. And I'm just going to, this is going to be an option because I don't want it in the whole selection there. All right. There we go. So I got a pretty good selection here of the little girl. Bring that down, take a look at it. Okay. Now what I need to do at this point is save what I what I got going on because I have a selection here and I don't want to uh, lose it. So I'm gonna go to File, Save As. I actually hit Save with Copies, I'm gonna cancel that. File, Save As. And I'm just gonna save it to my desktop and I'm just gonna save it as Postcard. Okay. And when I do that, not show that again when I do this this now creates a postcard for me the original file that I have is back in that folder and I don't have to worry about doing uh, you know messing that picture up so I'm trying to do a little non-destructive po uh, Photoshop here okay so now that we got that saved I want to go in to make this background gray and boost this little girl color up okay and that will be in the next video I show